Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make Hyperpop Melodies. I have a Hyperpop one shot kit which I'm using in the video. There is a download link in the description. One more thing, if you did end up enjoying the video, please do like and subscribe, it really does help me out. Also, if you ever get stuck with any of my tutorials and need help or just want feedback with any of your music, I have just created a Discord server for this channel. It will be the first link in the description. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Okay, step one to making a hyper pop melody is you need a good sound. So. Um, if you downloaded the one shot kit in the description, you'll have all these sounds. So once you found a nice sound, so the one I'm going to be using is Shark Pluck 600, which is this one, which I think sounds really cool. So then what you want to do is just like put down like a bass melody, if that makes sense. Or just get root notes, which you think sounds good. So you normally want to choose a key and then find some root notes, which you think sounds good. So for me, this is what I did. Yeah, which is basically, it's very simple, but it sounds good. But once you've got that, basically you just kind of want to layer it. So what I did next is basically just got the root notes, which I just made. And I added, um, like, a chord to it. And then I added some sevens just uh, on the high notes to give it, like, more, just to give it more, like, I don't know what to call it. Just to give it more airiness, I don't know. So this is what it sounds like now. And then what I would do is stick some effects on the um, on it. So what I'm gonna stick is I'm gonna get I'm gonna make an EQ which cuts down all the lows, and I'm gonna make some reverb and some delay. So it sound, now sounds like this, which sounds really cool. But next, what you want to do is you kind of want to make a lead. So so the the lead sound that I'm gonna be using is is this sound here, which is very quiet, but it sounds very cool. Okay, so what I've done is just added these like repeating, um, repeating like uh, counter melody. So it just goes the same thing and then it just switches once up there. Yeah, and this just follows the same um, like the same scale as the chords. And once again, I added some EQ and added a bit of destructor and some reverb and delay. Now, once you've had that, you could almost say you're done with this. But if you want to go a bit extra, what you want to do is get is a you want to make a arpeggio. So what you want to do is just copy and paste the exact same thing for the chords onto a new sound. So the sound I'm going to be using is this. So, yeah. And then what you want to do is just copy and paste it. So now you have this. And what you want to do is kind of just switch it up a bit and move it around and just make it like rolls and stuff and i'm gonna remove the sevens just because it doesn't sound good and now with the chords it sounds like this and now with the the lead to it, it sounds like this which sounds which is a pretty good high pop melody in my opinion so yeah I'm now gonna make a beat out of it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. The beat that I make with this melody will be on my beat channel. Yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.